Shiloh and Dandy the Lion, written by Sierra L. Hill, illustrated by Christian Krabby. Today was Shiloh's first day at his new school. Shiloh was very nervous but determined to think positive. I'm going to find the courage to be myself. Good things are going to happen. I hope the other kids like me, Shiloh said to himself. However, after school, Shallow got back home feeling sad. Mom, I don't like my new school, Shallow sighed. The kids keep telling me that I'm different. They keep talking about my brown skin. You are right, said Shallow's mom. You are different. But it's because there is only one of you. That's what makes you special. Everyone is not the same. The world would be boring if we all looked alike. Shiloh's mom paused for a few seconds. Locking eyes with her son, she added, Guess what else? What, mom? You have a big job to do. What's that? asked Shiloh. You have to show the whole world how amazing you are, replied Shiloh's mom. Your dad and I named you Shiloh because that means peace. It means you are in tune with who you are. It means you must always be yourself. Shallow wanted to do that, but he didn't know how. He didn't know he wanted to think about his mom's words, so Shallow decided to walk in his backyard. While Shallow was in his backyard, he noticed a pretty yellow flower. He pulled it up from the ground and took it home for his mom. He knew how much she loved flowers. At home, Shallow held the flower delicately in his hands. He approached his mom and asked, what is the name of this flower? That flower is a beautiful dandelion, said Shallow's mom. Do you know what makes a dandelion flower unique? Shallow considered the beautiful flower in his hands. I know dandelion flowers are pretty, he said. I know they have a, a nice yellow color, but I don't know what makes them unique. His mom explained, when you make a wish, dandelions help make it come true. Dandelions also help you overcome hard times. Shallow had no doubt his mom was very wise. After thinking about what she said, he looked around his room. Shallow spotted his favorite stuffed animal, a beautiful lion with colorful fur. He knew then and there he would name the stuffed animal Dandy the Lion. Before bedtime that night, Shiloh's parents tucked him in tightly under the covers. Good night, Shiloh, they said. We love you very much. Remember to always dream big. As Shiloh drifted off to sleep, he clutched Dandelion in his hand. Shiloh then whispered, Dandy the Lion, what do you see? Please help others understand me. And just like that, Shallow began to dream. Before he knew it, he was on a beach. Shallow could not believe it. Danny the lion stood beside him, but this time he was a real lion. When he and Danny the lion looked out at the sparkling water, they saw a mermaid and some seals. Wow, said Shallow. Who were all these wonderful creatures? The mermaid's name was Birdie, and the seals called themselves the Stinky Crew. When Birdie noticed Shiloh, she approached him with an expression of awe on her face. She took one hard look at him and said he was different from anything she had ever seen before. You don't belong here, she cried. The stinky crew agreed with Birdie. You were smelly, they added, crinkling their nose at Shiloh. A wave of sadness washed over Shiloh as he dug his toes into the sand. Thankfully, Dandy the lion stepped in. He gazed at Birdie and the stinky crew with his deep lying eyes and said, if you took the time to play with Shiloh, you might learn something. 
The next thing Shiloh knew, Dandy the Lion was taking him for a swim. He told Shiloh he wanted to show him how some of the sea creatures dealt with others who were not very nice. The pair met a huge whale named Peewee. Shallow and Dandy the lion rolled on Peewee's back and moved swiftly through the water. Then Dandy the lion told Peewee what had happened to Shallow. Peewee shared that he too was bullied at one point because of his size. But Peewee told Shallow that he soon learned he was special. And when he realized nothing was wrong with his true self, he became much happier. Peewee offered a reassuring smile. He promised to show Shiloh something that only he could do, all because of his awesome size. Before Shiloh could thank Peewee for his kindness, an octopus named Twinkletoes pulled Shiloh and Dandy the Lion right off the whale's back. Next to Twinkletoes swam Birdie and the Stinky Crew. They were dragged down to the deepest part of the ocean. Darkness surrounded them. In the depths of the water, Shallow heard splishing and splashing, babbling bubbles and gurgling sounds. He and Dandy the lion felt slimy seaweed and fins from the ocean mammals. Under the sea, they didn't care about their differences. They were all a little scared, but they were all in this together. Dandy the Lion knew he still had to help Shiloh embrace the things that made him outstanding. He asked Peewee to show Shiloh what he had promised to do. So Peewee showed Shiloh that because of his size, he was able to shed the most light. Peewee made the deep, dark water bright enough for everyone to play. While playing, the sea creatures were amazed at how fast Shiloh could swim. They also admired how nice he was to everyone, even though some of them had been mean to him. When they swam back to shore, Twinkletoes made everyone gather around his tentacles. He explained that he was often teased because of his strange shape. But then, he showed the others how he could do tricks with his eight long arms. He showed them how even though he looked different than the others, he always had a lending hand to offer those in need. And that was not all. Twinkletoes had three beating hearts. He explained to the group how he used his hearts to show others how much he cared. Shallow turned thoughtfully to Twinkletoes. He remembered Peewee's kindness and Dandy the Lion's bravery. He also remembered his mother's wise words. He decided then and there, he wanted to show the world that he too was special. So Shallow whispered, Dandy the Lion, what do you see? Please help others understand me. Suddenly, Shallow felt a change deep inside him. He then found the courage to express what he felt. Listen up, everybody, Shallow exclaimed. I am more than just the color of my skin. I'm not going to let others bully me. The group nodded their heads at Shallow, encouraging him to go on. I'm different like you are different, continued Shiloh. I'm also unique and strong. Once again, Shiloh thought of his mom and dad. I'm going to dream big like my parents taught me, he cried. I'm curious. I love to be around people and animals. I am brown and proud. Birdie and the sneaky crew nodded cleverly. Soon after Shiloh's speech, they swam away. The stinky crew waited in silence for a moment. When we were under the water, our physical features didn't matter, they said. Shallow was nice to everyone, plus he's an awesome swimmer. It was cool to see how everyone is different, added Birdie. No one ever taught us to see past others' differences before. The next thing they knew, Birdie and the stinky crew gathered everyone together. They wanted to apologize to Shallow. Shallow was overjoyed. So much so that he and his new friends immediately began celebrating. During the celebration, he thanked his new friends. He also thanked Dandy the Lion. He was very grateful to his old pal, who not only showed him other creatures' special traits, but also gave him the courage to be himself. 
When Shallow woke up from his dream, he was ready for the day to begin. I know how to help others understand me now, he announced. With patience, kindness, and understanding, we can all accept others for who they are. Shallow stared at Dandy the lion, who had turned back into a stuffed animal. My mom was right about being yourself, he said, and so were you. Shallow could not wait to enjoy his true self. Everything would be okay as long as he had Dandy the lion by his side. Mm -hmm.